Well, Ross, you know better than probably anybody. There's some stuff I don't get. You know, <laughs> the internet, <laughs> online billing. You know, sure, change my sure. password. I'll help you with that. But what I really don't get is my electric bill. In the old days, every month you get a bill from the local Edison, they called it back then. Yeah. It was measuring kilowatt hours, it was simple. But nowadays, you open up a bill, you don't know what, right, what you're paying. Right. So the standard way of, of billing is called a fixed rate based on your kilowatt hour of usage. Yeah. So the example I give is that if you have a 100 watt light bulb, you turn that light bulb yep. on, it consumes 100 watts yep. every instant. But if I run it for one hour, it's 100 watt hours. So you multiply that by something to get a kilowatt hour. Right, so one tenth of a kilowatt hour, in that example. Yeah. But what changed it all is deregulation. Okay. Okay, with a deregulated model, the electricity company that's usually highly regulated that controls the generation of the electricity, right. the transmission, and the delivery to every single house, right. with deregulation, now the generation is by any company. So it could be from far away. Exactly. And come across lines. So what does that do? It's competition, which drives in the prices for consumers, but they've also changed the billing structures. Okay. All right, so one of the models that they've adopted is called demand charges or peak pricing. Okay. With that model, you're charging homeowners a fixed rate of electricity that's tiered based on how much electricity they used in a 15 minute window for the month. So how do you change that tier? What happens? Right, so if I turn on a lot of light bulbs or a lot of compressors or a lot of loads in a house, I'm gonna draw a lot of electricity all in a 15 minute window and that's gonna put me into a different tier. So how long do you stay in that tier? For the whole month. Ooh, that doesn't sound very good. You could be penalized in a big way for having a bad couple of minutes. Yeah, and it's tricky because you don't know, yeah. right? You don't know how much energy you're right. using at different right. times, so right. you'd have no idea. So is that a popular model? So yeah, it's not a popular model, thankfully. It's yeah. not used in many parts of the country, but yeah. one that is used in a lot of parts is called time of use. Okay. And with time of use rates, they're charging you a set rate of electricity for different times of the day. Okay. So if you think about it, from 9 uh, a.m. to 9 p.m., for example, that window, it may be at a very high rate of electricity, but off-peak, meaning from 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. through the night, it's actually being at a lower peak. And I could get that. You got X amount of power plants, and you got all these people trying to demand too much right then. So I get that, and they would raise their rates. That's supply and demand. My advice for most homeowners is to break the home and the electrical devices into three categories, okay. right? So one is no control. Right, so the refrigerator of the house, the well pump if you have one, yeah. that really, you really have no control over sure, that. Sure, you right? don't want to turn them off. That's right. The next category is some control. So that would be like your HVAC, right? Sure. I can change the set point lower or yeah. higher to get past a certain period of time. Right. Eventually it's going to turn yeah. back on, but that's some control. Full control will be the appliances that literally you have full control over. So you, when you run your, your dishwasher, sure. right? I can pick and choose or run it at 9 p.m., set right. the timer to run yeah. later. When and they the all have a cheaper. timer now. That's yeah. right. The yeah. big one, electric cars nowadays, they consume a ton of electricity. Sure. It's best to do that at night. Yeah. Another item to look for is what's called ghost power or phantom power. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand this, but you can have a device that's actually plugged into the wall right. that is turned off, but it still consumes electricity. There's a, and there's a lot of them, right? Phone chargers, clock radios, yep. modems, printers. The, every clock and every microwave and right. every oven. Right. It actually equates to almost a quarter of the, your electric bill in your average house. I think people would be surprised if they realized how much, how much it was using. Yeah, it's a big deal. Right. Yeah. I often think about how we're going to change people's behaviors for electricity, and you got me to put that device into my house, which is so cool because I could then see my my recess can lights and how much they use, right. and it was crazy. Real-time really, data. Right. It really made me change how I do electricity at the house. Right. You leave those lights off now, right? That's right. I do. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So what uh, utility companies are doing is they're now retrofitting buildings with smart meters, and what that allows them to do is actually have much better control of their grid because they can see real time, just like that device does, yeah. this device right. is going to tell the utility company what, uh, what, the, what the grid is doing, what that house is doing real time. Do you imagine a day where they w might be able to control Maybe. some of those devices you talked there's about? A there's a lot of talk going on right now about where that future is going. And be there could be a day where the actual electric meter yeah. and the utility company has the ability to control all or some of the devices yeah. inside the house. Yeah. So if the grid is getting overtaxed, what yeah. they'll do is they'll yeah. pull out your water heater or pull out some of those and drop off some of those right. appliances right. to save on the grid. Yeah. And uh, it, you know, we'll see if it goes there, but uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting angle. You're really smart, but I still don't really understand my electric bill. <laughs> don't worry, I'll help you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.